You're wasting your time, Ben. I got friends high up on the food chain. One call, and I'm a free man. No, not this time, Tony. Your friends don't fucking impress Whoa, me. What are you doing, man? Jesus Christ, come on. We can work this out. What do you want? I want you to pay for all the fucking misery you've caused. This is for Jess, you evil you son can't, of a McCall. bitch. I want to see Dixon and Waters behind bars. That won't happen without his testimony. And they will give this fucker immunity. And he will skate. Just like he always does. Well, fuck that. Not this time. No fucking way. You know I won't let you kill him. Why the fuck not? There's a shitload of money here. We can split it three ways and no one will ever know. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about starting over, man. I'm talking about a clean fucking slate. Look, I owe people money. And this could solve all my problems. Jesus Christ! Hey, it's going in somebody's pocket. Some asshole in DC with more juice than us is gonna walk away with all of it, man. A payday like this will be set for life. And I'll be done with this shit. You will never be done, Ese. Shut the fuck up. The FBI paid off all your paper, puto. And in return, they got all kinds of incriminating shit. And they're gonna hold it over your head until the day you're dead. What the hell are you talking about? Ask her. What the hell is he talking about? It's true. How the fuck does Alvarez know about this? Because he's a federal informant. He's our man inside the cartel. You can't kill him, Ben. See, Eddie? They got you by the balls, brother. But my offer still holds. You lying motherfuckers. You got that right. Sometimes you gotta choose the lesser of two evils. Yeah, but in the end, you're still choosing evil. Set for life. All three of us. Split three ways. <laughs> the corruption has apparently spread to the highest levels of the Justice Department, as Alvarez's testimony implicates Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon in the scandal. A special Senate committee is looking into any and all links between the Department of Justice and the Mendoza cartel. Members of the interagency task force created by Dixon are all under investigation. DEA agent Edward Guerra is suspected of working with the Mendoza cartel. He is accused of complicity in the murder of Jessica Stone, the daughter of the FBI agent killed in the bombing and the only witness in the case. Also accused of complicity in the Stone murder is FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans. In addition, she's being charged with the shooting death of retired FBI agent Kevin Donlevy. The Deputy Attorney General has promised his full cooperation with any investigation. The Special Interagency Task Force has been, on balance, a success. The Mendoza Cartel has been crushed. And Michael Duke, CEO of Peacekeepers International, was killed while resisting arrest. His entire organization has been implicated in the smuggling and distribution of illegal military weaponry. More importantly, the tensions between Mexico and the U.S. have calmed considerably. We have come together as allies, working side by side for the common good. Joe Miguel, L.A. Times. Some believe this scandal has revealed a shocking weakness in our domestic security apparatus. Would you care to comment on that? A free country is always exposed to such dangers. The 
very freedom that protects us also can make us vulnerable, as we all experienced on September 11th. But it is the rule of law and our Constitution that is the backbone and strength of our democracy. With tools like the Federal Witness Protection Program, we can protect those who step forward like Mr. Alvarez, who testified against his former employers because he had the courage to do the right thing. Mr. Alvarez will have a second chance. And isn't that what this country is all about?